Courtney. Hi, Harold. How are you? I'm really good. How are you? Good. It's so nice to meet you. I love, nice to meet you too. I love the background that you have there, all the books. It looks so interesting, like you're so smart. And, like, I don't know. I'm making I need a bunch all of... the help I can get. <laughs> I hear you. You see behind me, like, never mind. I was say nothing, but you know, there will be something. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm going to start with a question that I don't think even deserves a. So I wish I was had a different one to start with after that awesome uh, introduction. But I have a question about the rope because, you know, season one ends with you going through the faraway tree, you know, Sarah pushing it through, and then you're in the well. Mm -hmm. Then you call out, somebody throws you down a rope, you get up there. Martin shackled to the wall. So how the heck did the rope get to you? Do we right. find out? Right. Isn't it? <laughs> that like <laughs> when you ask that question, and all I can say is right. <laughs> That's exactly how all of season two goes. Like you you get you get the answer, like, oh, am I alone? No, he's not alone. Wait, who 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 threw the rope? <laughs> like, it's, like it's just so like mind-bending, right? And so um, I think that's the fun part about it. Like you get the answers and, and I'm glad that you, you, you actually mentioned that because some people like, you know, they'd seen it and, and read it even. And then like three episodes later, they go like, wait, who threw you the rope? <laughs> so <laughs> it's a really good question. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Man, I just I can't wait to, to we got to watch the first five episodes I'm like no it's like the <laughs> binger's worst nightmare but <laughs> it's really really it's really interesting I think <laughs> and then good. I have to bring up the worms because I imagine as an actor I'm not an actor but you guys have to sometimes you get wet you get muddy but I imagine that in the case of these worms you're probably pretty happy that's FX and you don't have to have things squirming under your arm, right? So happy you can't even imagine. Like, <laughs> like we played, I played with bugs for the spider because I just, I don't like spiders either, but I played with some bugs on my skin and I, you know, to give you that feeling just, you know, before it starts and it's, it's gross. And, but I'm so glad that was special effects because, you know, I'm that actor. I was like, oh, you have worms that go into my skin? Okay, let's put them in. <laughs> I, I would have done it. So I'm glad that it's a special effects thing. That was like, I can just go ahead and imagine this one and just like try to, you know, because at the end of the day, what's really, what's bigger than the worms is boy trying to figure out, is boy trying to figure out, is this real? Do you know what I mean? Like, more than just the worms, like, is any of this real? From Martin, from the rope, from the ballerina, is any of this real? So even scarier than the creepy crawlies that would be in my skin, the, the bigger question for Boyd is, have I just lost it? And can, can, can I trust myself or can any of these people trust me? And that's what's really scary to me. Like when you think you have a leader and now the leader doesn't even know if he can do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, now, we're, now it's getting terrifying. Now it's getting big. Oh my gosh. And I am about out of time. So I am oh. just going to thank you so much. It's such a quick interview, but you're amazing in this. And thank you. Thanks, Courtney. That was a lot of fun. I was so glad we got to talk. Even Me too. Thank you. <laughs> Bye-bye. I'll see you next time. Bye.